Okay. Welcome back. And you join me just outside of Baden-Baden, Germany, in the foothills of the uh, Black Forest. And uh, I signed off fairly early yesterday. Because I was tired and there was a, a lot of miles to cover. I ended up covering something like 320 miles yesterday to catch up to where I needed to be today to be back on schedule. So it was a long day, but it was worth it because one, as I've just mentioned, I'm back on schedule. I'm back where I need to be. And uh, two, I uh, actually did ride the B500 and a lot of other roads to boot uh, through the through the Black Forest. And it was spectacular. It really was. And the... Oh, come on. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> As I was saying. I did manage to ride through the uh, Black Forest and the B500 and the B500 is incredible. So much fun uh, riding that road. But the, um, the unexpected bonus that I was trying to make reference to just a second ago was that I got to ride it at, uh, at night, essentially, uh, at sunset. Sorry, I'm trying to get back on track and talk to you at the same time and failing miserably. We now going the right way? Please tell me we're now going the right way. Okay, no, I'm not. That was the right thing to do. Yeah, I got to ride it at sunset. Uh, I got to the Black Forest around 8.30. Um, around that kind of time. Around 8.30, quarter to nine, and the sun was really low. So all that difficult riding with low sun um, was worth it getting through to the dense forest and all those uh, rich alpine smells um, with the, the trees cooling from being in the sun uh, all day it was just epic and it being relatively late it was empty I had it all to myself and it was just brilliant uh, I, I was dog tired but I took it I was riding really slow, but to my surprise, a lot of it is heavily uh, controlled with uh, low speed, ca low speeds, and uh, cameras everywhere. So it's not a particularly fast road by any stretch of the imagination. It is just a really good road so, with some fantastic corners. But that one, uh, that one was for me. Uh, I, that was my little reward for travelling 320 miles to get back on track and I enjoyed every minute of it. And that hotel there was uh, provided by Toby while I was on the road and it was brilliant. I had like three beers there, or two and a half beers before KOing. And uh, because he's such a good man, he uh, took care of the tab for me. I didn't know he did that. So I'll have to settle things up with him to, uh, when I'm back. So yeah, it was a very good day. Well, a very good ending to a very long day. And uh, now uh, we are very much facing the end of the tour. We're um, pretty much the penultimate day, if not the penultimate day in, uh, in Europe. Yeah, pen uh, penultimate day in Europe. And today, I am going to be riding through uh, Germany, going through Luxembourg and into Belgium. And uh, that's just ahead of me heading towards Calais tomorrow morning, picking up that, uh, that train, uh, the, the Channel Tunnel, back across 
to Folkestone on Thursday morning. I was able to, to my utter surprise, able to shift the tickets by a couple of days, my return ticket by a couple of days. Uh, the access was only £14, so that was a, a huge relief uh, for me and it was very easy to do. So that's all been sorted. And I've uh, contacted the Calais Hotel, the, you know, the Holiday Inn in Calais, and requested they shift uh, my reservation. Didn't even look. To, uh, to Wednesday. So I'll find out about that when I get in today. And I've uh, made a reservation Okay, where are we going? Definitely said turn right there. Uh. So yeah, uh, everything has been rebooked and I've uh, found a little place just outside of uh, my destination today, which is Bastogne and this is um, today really is about a bit of a personal I said that sounds a bit more dramatic than I merely mean it but uh, today I wanted or want to go to oh man I'll start that all again today I am going to Bastogne which obviously I've uh, already referenced with my reservation and um, that was always uh, was always one of the plans of uh, this loop across Europe was to end it with visiting uh, Bastogne. And like many people, I am a uh, huge fan of uh, Band of Brothers. And I've, I'm a general uh, history fan, in particular military history and World War II. So with the opportunity to go into such a prominent and infamous battle uh, site of uh, the Battle of the Bulge, and pay my respects to the men that fought there is, is huge for me. So uh, I'm very much looking forward to getting there today and uh, you know, traveling the ground, if you like, um, traversing and seeing the area firsthand that those men fought to either defend or capture. I'm talking both sides here. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to the uh, Bastogne War Museum. The Bastogne War Museum, which again I am uh, looking forward to uh, going to. And that really will be the the last uh, hurrah, if you like, because uh, after I uh, finish at the uh, War Museum, I'll be just heading cross country to Calais, yeah, ready for uh, that train in the morning. So that's what today is all about. So before I get to Bastogne, um, I'll be taking in uh, the, the, the last bits of uh, Germany on my, uh, my travels, as well as literally riding across uh, Luxembourg, <coughs> which is pretty cool. And try not to focus on the, the uh, fact that I'll be very soon back at my, uh, my desk trying to remember all of this. I'm pretty sure that journey from Bastogne to Calais, I'll be spending the entire time reflecting on, on everything. I'll give you fair warning. It's a much more civilized day today as well in regards to travel time, and I'm over the moon about that. If I uh, carried on straight to my uh, destination, I should get there for around 2.20. Uh, I didn't get to the hotel till about half past nine uh, last night. So, um, yeah, very, a welcome early arrival. So I'm allowing myself a couple of hours leeway for stops here. So if I can get there around four o'clock, that will be a huge win and a welcome short day. Because I believe the ride that I'll have tomorrow from um, Bastogne to uh, Calais will be a bit of a long one. It's going to be primarily uh, motorways. But again, it's really nice to be back in 
back in my seat, back in the saddle. Ready for another day of traveling, you know? I really will miss it, I love it so much. As much as I moan and complain or lose my temper about anything, it is fantastic. <clears throat> All that being said, I am looking forward to uh, getting into my own bed. <laughs> that does have a, an appeal right now. I was getting a, a little bit delirious yesterday when I was uh, all alone in the, in the Black Forest, you know, praying for that checkered flag on the GPS system. And I started singing uh, Rawhide. As long, along with a, you know, a lot of other stupid stuff in silly accents, just to uh, you know, keep me focused and uh, on all that. It was quite funny, but geez, you know, I'm not going into too much detail here, but my arse, geez, it hurts. <laughs> Very sore bottom. Many a mile covered in this saddle. So that being said, let's transition to how many miles. So as uh, we start today, I have covered 1,940 miles. It's not too shabby, is it? Oh my good God. Yeah, 1,940 miles. So I'm gonna break the uh, 2,000 mark today. Which I would say is uh, pretty significant. Also, my time scale works as well. I mean, if it wasn't for that uh, breakdown, I would be uh, arriving back in the UK today. So it's like a two, two no sorry, three night, two and a half day delay, but it still works, the, the two week window, or less than two weeks, uh, worked for this, all these countries. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think looking back, I'll probably allocate a bit more time to explore some areas, some areas more than others. I'm completely beside myself with uh, Italy, uh, Switzerland and Austria. Those places uh, were absolutely the standouts for me. And uh, I will want to go back. So those roads, those views, just something else. And now I've done this, it's, uh, it's so accessible. Uh, it's not the, uh, you know, the uh, insurmountable thing. I thought it might be. So um, who knows where I'm going to go next, right? We're in downtown Baden-Baden. Oh, we're just leaving it. <coughs> Another glorious day. 22 degrees, it's just after nine. I wonder if it's gonna be chucking down the rain when I get to the UK. We will have to see. It's a big ass motorway. Oh, the uh, Autobahn was fun. Scary though as well. I mean, I was topping out like an average of, I don't know, like 90 miles an hour. That was what I was comfortable with. And uh, guys were just flapping past me as if I was standing still. And the scariest thing about it is when you come off it, you know, you, you, you feel like you're just going like five miles an hour when you're actually doing, I don't know, like 50 or 60, you know. It, the transition is huge. So I don't know what the deal is today with um, the mixture of uh, roads. I do hope it's a mixture of roads. 
but it could be uh, just motorway for all I know, I don't, I've got no idea. Paris. Oh, this is cool. I remember this in my prep. I remember this in my prep. I was looking for somewhere to stop, but I remember all of this. Well, that's cool. I like it when I discover or not discover, come across places that I have uh, pinpointed in my prep. Oh, these 50 zones are killing me. I want to get a wiggle on. Yep, sadly, we're looking at more like motorway or carriageway, if nothing else. Oh, we're heading into France. I think only briefly. I have wandered into France. Paris, 510 kilometers. What's happening? What's going on? away big miles Burger King sign for Burger King so we can't be that far out of civilization Love all these hay bales. It's very pretty out here. If a little flat for my taste. Interesting. A Christmas tree made out of pots and pans. I can't believe I've not thought of that myself. <laughs> they were gunning it. It's a 
very pleasant road to be going down. Oh, I don't think there is a cloud in the sky today. road and uh, it's only a 50 50 miles per hour or an 80 that's as cruel and this just goes on and on and on it most definitely should be at least <coughs> in my humble opinion it most definitely should be at least like a 100 kilometers an hour or 60 to you know a spritz and still it goes on uh, are we doing something there's a roundabout at least goodness me the excitement and normal service resumes what is that is that for a bird watching maybe Oh, <coughs> excuse me, I can't contain my excitement here, we just graduated up to a, a 90, I think. This should be uh, way higher than 90, come on! I'm going to stop shortly for a cold drink, get into some shade. Coming off, not short lived. McDonald's. No problem is I'm not uh, not hungry. Pretty thirsty though. Burger King as well, my good Buffalo Grill. Got it all going on here. But a bit of shade, a bit of foliage, rest my eyes a little bit, more than squinting. And we've got a train track to the left, which is always nice. It really has been a unique experience. I've never done a tour of this long before, both in uh, distance and in time. 
and I've never had to deal with um, you know major mechanical issues before. I was saying to the support team that it, it's been a been a an emotional roller coaster, and it has. Long distance touring is very emotional. You know, you get your highs and then your lows, and what the hell am I doing here? Kind of thing. And before you even realize it, you're having a great time. But it uh, is not easy, it is challenging. But uh, it's, uh, for me at least, it's been, this is one of those uh, deal breakers. It's a real life-changing experience, you know, uh, fulfilling a dream that I've wanted to do something like this for a very long time. And it's been everything that I wanted it to be. That's, that's it for now, I'm not gonna <laughs> work, work any more lyrical about the wonders and mythology of uh, touring gonna have to give my poor motorcycle some TLC when I get back I've got all those scrapes that I need to see if I can buff out I need to replace this aerial it's hanging on by a thread I've had to tape it tape it on and uh, scrape all the dead bugs off the, the front screen already I'm going to um, I think I'm going to pull into the next uh, services gas station I see get that drink I'm also going to fill the bike up as well I've been riding for about an hour now so it's as uh, good as time as any what's Willa Looks like a gas station. Is it? Oh, it is. But they've got nowhere that I can buy a drink, so that doesn't. That is not going to work for me. I want a glorious SO or BP garage or something like that with a huge. Uh, shop selling a million different types of energy drinks you know the sort you'll be excited to hear there is another roundabout in one and a half kilometers yeah woohoo the railway track again down there what do we have here what do we have here what do we have what do we have what do we have here we have a McDonald's the gas station. I can smell McDonald's from here. Where am I going straight over? Come on, man.
dive into here. Not the most exciting of locations, but I just kind of want to have a bit of a break. Gas. That away. Oh, it's there. Is it there? Last station. Oh, it's all automatic. Okie dokie, let's get this done. 